Yo, what's poppin' playboys? Welcome back to the channel. Um, today's video is something I've been wanting to do for a while now. This is the video I see every YouTuber do, and uh, I think Throttle or whatever, it, I forgot their name, but yeah, that channel, they do it a lot too. And uh, yeah, it's just building Dusty in 10 minutes. So this is just gonna be the turbo portion of his life. Um, not the full bolt-on, all motor, E85 part, yada, yada, yada. Just the turbo stuff. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy it, because I ain't gonna lie, I enjoy watching it. So yeah, let's get into it. It's us. What's up, guys? I know it's been a while. I missed y'all. Y'all probably missed me too, huh? I know y'all probably like, bro, don't come back acting like you wasn't gone for two months. I know. Sorry about that. A lot of things happened in that two-month span of me doing what I had to do to Dusty, in just life so <laughs> I got a lot of explaining to do <clears throat> I got a lot of explaining to do but I'm not gonna do it here actually gonna drive to a little spot that I, I, I recently started to you know like to do my videos that when I'm doing like just talking and stuff so we're gonna head over there and uh, I'm gonna break down this video well you know break down what happened even more on why I haven't been posting for two months <laughs> guys I did it Dusty is now boosted I had a lot of like people who wasn't believe me saying that I was sponsored by max speed that I had a kit on the way but yada 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 and for those haters and those people who wasn't supporting me let's prove to y'all that Dusty is now boosted y'all could kiss my here's problem playboys welcome back to another video man man feels good saying that but in today's video whoa Dusty looks crazy bro what is all this on her yo yeah you need a you need a wash but sheesh look at that intercooler you guys damn dusty dusty fast now you guys In today's video we're gonna be installing a boost gauge on dusty um i actually have a setup where i actually have a setup where it connects to the vent um as you guys can see i kind of already started removing the pieces this piece right here is pretty simple to come off it's two bolts well two uh phillips screws as you guys can see right there and um yeah you just pry it off and it pops off then you have to remove two more phillips screws one's right here other one's right there and then there's two uh hex hex eight millimeters screws i believe yeah that I can't really show you guys, but if you guys stick your hand inside, you could definitely feel and you'll be able to remove that as well. The gauge part that I'm actually installing is one of these. Um, I have the same one on this side of the car, but now I'm installing one that goes into the head unit. And it's going to look so nice having a boost gauge on, I don't know what side he had. Um, if, this, if this boost gauge can reach all the way over here, then I won't install it over on this side. And that means I don't have to take out this to remove it to put it over here. But if I can't install the boost gauge on this side, then I'll have to do all that work. So, fingers crossed that I don't have to do that. And hopefully I can go on a little drive. I do have a couple data logs I have to do. Well, actually one data log I have to do because I am currently still getting tuned. Um, you already know who's tuning the car. Yost the GOAT. That boy's getting me right. Car feeling is, the car is feeling really, really nice. And I'm pushing, I think, 8 PSI to 9 PSI. So, yeah, especially on E85, this car is feeling nice. Um, we're trying to keep the torque really low so I don't I don't have to blow a trans <clears throat> So I don't have to blow a trans But we also want you know the power to be up on the top on the top end So if I can make like close to 400 390 380 I'm happy, but yeah, let's jump into the video. Let's get this part installed um, I'm gonna remove this damn head unit real quick and then uh, probably give you guys a little instruction on how to install this And then you know go on that pool Five minutes later. I think it's this one. One of them do it. Is it this one? Well, one of them slowly fades in and fades out. And I find that pretty cool because it matches the, you know, the interior of the car. So, yeah, I'll probably keep it on that one whenever I find it. But it's getting late. I need to go to sleep because I got work in the morning. So, uh, see you guys tomorrow. So, I'll get that pull in for you guys so you guys can hear how dusty sounding. Because I haven't done any type of pulls. And I really haven't even, like, talked about me being turbo yet so 
probably catch that in the video before this or a video after this. But yeah, uh, see you guys tomorrow. Just stepped outside to film a video, bro. And then I feel this heat that Florida is giving us right now. And bro, it is like extremely freaking hot. But I'm not gonna let the heat stop me from making this banger video. So yours, Poppin' Playboys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna be selling, selling. I'm gonna be setting up rolling anti-lag on Dusty. Um, if you guys know, I do brake boosts a lot. And this is... <laughs> Usually what happens when I keep brake boosting, I don't know if you guys can really see that on camera, but if you guys can see that wheel over there and then look at this, you can tell that this wheel is covered in brake dust. So I'm hoping with me setting up rolling anti-lag, I can, you know, minimize the brake dust and still have the same effect as me brake boosting. Well, most likely still gonna have the same effect. But yeah, it's pretty easy. It's two wires from your clutch pedal and uh, you just need a switch. I'm gonna show you guys everything I have actually, just to make this a little bit simpler and easier for you guys. But yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cake. Um, shout out to Booster Perp for uh, making a video on this and also like answering my DMs because I was kind of confused like how people were doing this. I thought you had to set up the wires a certain way. And nah, bro, it's really simple. It's two wires, you need a switch, and that's it. Here's Pop and Playboys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, as you guys can see, we're at a dyno. Well, at the shop dyno. Um, today we're gonna be throwing Dusty on a dyno again. We're gonna up the boost. As you guys seen in a previous video, I don't know which video I'm gonna drop first, this video or the last video that you guys probably just seen. So I'm probably gonna drop that video first. But uh, Dusty made 377 on the last time he was here. And uh, now we're gonna up the boost from eight PSI to probably like 11, 12 and see what Dusty makes. Hopefully we get to keep the torque down because that's what kills the transmission, that's what kills the rods. And uh, yeah, man, I'm hope, hopefully open for like full something. <laughs> but yeah, man, we wanna throw the car in the dyno, so let's see how it does. Oh, okay, goddamn. There's no second, there's no third. I don't want the power back down now. <laughs> this shit not fun. This shit just like da -da 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 -da. Okay. So third gear was 11 PSI. Fourth gear went up to 14. So yeah, that felt amazing. Playboys, wow, this jacket make me look crazy. But yours, fine Playboys, welcome back to another video, man. We're heading over to Grumpy Ass Renardo. Um, he's gonna be coming with me to go look at a motor for Dusty. You know, it's a new year, so I'm trying to do a big. You feel me? All right, guys. So we got the motor right here. Wow! Here, man, you guys see it? Side, you feel me? Give you guys a little look at it. It is beat the hell up, but this is gonna look so beautiful at the end. Um, obviously, the manifold, the auto body, all this junk is gonna be replaced. Um, injectors, stock injectors, don't have to use it. Valve cover, don't have to use it, but I'm gonna keep it obviously. Um, oil pan has to get swapped out. Time and chain cover has to be replaced with the K27. I feel like K27, K24 Z7 time machine cover. So, have to find one of those. Um, yeah, 
This is from an automatic CRV, obviously. I'm very happy. This is gonna be a very, very nice 2024. I'm going to be learning a lot of stuff when I try to disassemble this mortar. Um, it's gonna be an experience, and I, I honestly can't wait for it. Yeah. Trouble on my mind. Yes, I got trouble on my mind. Yes.